Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a movie review and this is on Belfast. Yes, this is one that I am doing really late. This did come out at the very, very beginning of the year. I think it was like the first week of January. Um, but I had COVID and January was really busy in general. Didn't just go to the cinema um, at all, really. So I'm kind of catching up on a lot of films. But boy, am I glad that I did with Belfast. This movie is directed by Kenneth Branagh. A uh, familiar face for many people. He starred in things like Murder on the Orient Express, as well as Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. But he directs this movie. And this is basically his lockdown project. He said this on the Graham Norton show which basically convinced me to go and see the film by the way um but he basically you know was in lockdown spent a lot of time back home and was reminiscing and thinking a lot about his time growing up in Belfast in Northern Ireland and this made him write this movie um it's actually shot uh, in Belfast and um it's a really really interesting film this is a movie that is going to be up for many awards. I think it's already nominated for seven BAFTAs. Uh, the Academy Awards hasn't been announced yet, so I'm sure it's going to get nominated for a lot of Oscars. And um, rightly so. I think it's it's arguably one of the best films that I've seen so far. I mean, granted, there's not that many films out this year, but it's one of the best films of the year so far for me. And I think one of the reasons why this is one of the best films of the year, it just... It's just full of emotion because you know that backstory of Kenneth Branagh's upbringing and this is basically his uh, remembrance of that. You can kind of see that. There's a few scenes where like his mum and father, who are played by Catriona Balfi and Jamie Dornan, you can kind of see uh, the young actor who is playing him, uh, who by the way is fantastic, his name is Jude Hill. And he is there like, you know, like around the corner listening to his parents chat and disagree and like being on the stairs and hearing them talk about bills and debts, etc. So you can kind of like... You know, that's what he remembers about his upbringing and how he knows the story of what happened because he was there listening, eavesdropping. I mean, we all did it as kids and, um, you know, it was nice to see. I did mention Jamie Dornan's name there. You know, he's the guy who played um, Christian Grey in Fifty Shades of Grey and he was brilliant um, playing the role of his father. Um, quite a grounded role and, and, you know, he was working away a lot, etc. And yeah, it was really interesting and really, um, a really good performance from him. Uh, another honourable mention, I guess, would be for Judy Dench, who played his grandmother. I thought she was brilliant um you know she she and him loved like theater and you know going to the, the pictures they called it you know and you could just tell that's where his influence was from his family going to see things like chitty chitty bang bang was one of the films he went to see in the in the film so it was nice you know he, he's like all these like i guess nice memories that kenneth Branagh has got and then he just literally, it's like basically writing an autobiography, but instead of writing the autobiography, you're basically making a film and a story about the autobiography of your life. I just think it was really cool. There was some dark times, which is, I guess is what the film's about, and it's about the actual uh, Catholic versus Protestant um, arguments, and well, not arguments, but riots, I guess, in Northern Ireland. Um, so there was one, you know, what he remembers is just his street was just a playful area, like, you know, just all the kids would play with each other in the street, etc., and, you know, play football and all that. Uh, and then you know within a blink of an eye basically it turned into like a war zone you know you know who's going in the street who's coming out of the street it was like checkpoints and it's really hard to believe but you know those things did actually happen and, and these things I guess stick in his mind you know and obviously are f a big memories in his life and he wanted to portray that for the people that were lost in these conflicts but also for the people that fled Ireland because a lot of people did flee the country obviously because of safety. Rating the film though I'm going to go in and this is going to be a 9.5 out of 10. I've had two films this year that are 9.5 out of 10s in the first month which is just mad um, but they are rightly so. Um, 9.5 out of 10 this is going to be highly up there in my Oscars list um, I also put King Richard at the same score so they're both like nominated for best picture in their BAFTAs so for me 9.5 out of 10 is a must so let me know guys have you seen Belfast let me know your thoughts down below if you haven't I would go to a cinema and go and see it I'm sure with the award season if it's not in cinemas it's going to be brought back in again I know in my cinema I was only there for two or three showings I'm sure if it wins best picture it's going to be there for a long time but I would highly recommend you do um, I also didn't touch on the fact that it's black and white as well. I loved how that was black and white. I think it's really important that it's black and white. If it was in colour, then it just wouldn't work. But yeah, black and white, it doesn't put me off. It doesn't, didn't put me off nothing at all. It was really, really good. Will it be a day one pickup for me? Definitely. Um, I will buy that and I will want to show that to Hannah, etc. If not, go to the cinema and watch it again. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, of course. And of course, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.